Arcane Odyssey has many things that make it an amazing game, but let's talk about what I think is one of the most interesting features of all, Insanity. The Insanity status effect can be acquired naturally by traveling to Accursius Keep or traveling into the Dark Sea. The effect can also be applied when drinking potions or eating meals with cursed mushrooms cooked into them. Having the effect active can do many things purely based on what tier of the effect you have. These tiers are split into five categories. Slight, mild, high, dangerous, and unstable. The first stage is slight, in which the effects are only visual or auditory. Some of the effects include color blindness, seeing blood, hearing whispers or your heartbeat, receiving fake messages, taking fake damage, and seeing your compass go wild. The next two stages, mild and high, have a lot of the similar effects of the last stage, except they're now more intense. The effects from these tiers can now alter your gameplay, which include tilting your head, fainting, having messages pop up, and putting your hands on your head. You can also sometimes see fake markers, which seemingly lead to nowhere. The effects can be applied at random, which can include your surroundings being set ablaze, red glowing eyes, red flashes with eerie ambience, and the voices in your head ordering you around. The last two stages are dangerous and unstable, in which you can take damage and die. Honestly, this game has one of the best portrayals of insanity that I've seen so far. It provides an interesting experience to the player without changing the game drastically, which overall makes it a fun little thing to go after. Well, that's all for this showcase. But if there's anything else you'd like me to show off, let me know in the comments down below. But as for now, stay crazy everyone, and I'll see you next time.